Welcome to the end of Chicken Week, where today the boys go head to head to head to come up with the ultimate dish to win brownie points. And of course, the theme is chicken. Let's get it on. Now the challenge we all have with chicken is the fact that sometimes it is the most basic recipe on a menu. In order for me to make this the ultimate winning recipe, I have to use all the cooking techniques to make the most incredible Oh. Oh, I forgot what it was called for what a second. Are you making? Chicken and mushroom pie. <laughs> and it starts by making a pastry, which I'm terrified of, which is flour, butter, eggs, and some herbs in a food processor. I know what you're thinking. And yes, I'm making salt bathed chicken. James and I might have had a slight disagreement. I asked for salt bathed chicken. He's developed salt baked chicken, but it's exactly the same thing. We're going to make salt baked, baked chicken with fondant potatoes and a beautiful goat's cheese salad. Boys, I'm going to sprinkle this all over you. My thought process was start small and work your way up. So I'm going for a chicken sandwich. It's pulled chicken. I'm going to dip it in a jus. It's going to have saffron in it and it's going to be layered with basil, mozzarella, loads of great stuff. It's going to be delicious but it's not going to be as hard as making a pie. Now, when I said simple, I meant simple. I'm doing a lot of reducing. So I'm reducing down some pork to make a jus, and I'm reducing down some chicken stock, both in pans. It's going to take about an hour. Right, my dough Boys. is nearly done. Got to bring it together, into the cooking film, then into the fridge to let it rest. Does anybody need any salt for their recipe? Wait, 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 wait. Salt is being poured. Oh, mate, just do this. Get your elbow there. Oh, yeah, could you? Just do. Yeah. <laughs> Ultimate go. salt bay. Yeah, there we go. Look at that. Lick it. Go on, lick it. <laughs> <laughs> For my salt mixture, I'm looking to make something that kind of feels and looks a little bit like wet sand. That's going to be the most amount of salt that you've ever seen, mixed with four egg whites, some herbs, some lemon zest, some onion powder, and some garlic powder. Herbs bay. <laughs> bay. You must get such dirty elbows. I can't remember the last time I washed my elbow. I am about to attempt a technique that's never been achieved here at Sorted Food by any of us or Ben Eberl. I'm about to de-skin a chicken. Now I've cut around the entirety of the breast and its entire back. I now have to peel the skin away. Get your fingers under there. I know, not pleasant, pretty grim. And try and get all the skin off in one piece. Hey, watch. Oh. It's just, this is not pleasant. Come on, mate. This is not pleasant. If you're going to dress mean? like a chef, you better bloody well act like one. How many, how many skins this guy got? Four. <laughs> this is what perfect poaching liquid is made of. Butter, more chicken stock, fresh oregano, garlic, chili flakes, saffron, basil. They haven't even prepared their chicken for cooking. I'm just about to do mine. This is getting poached in my poaching liquid. One. <laughs> that, what are you? It's working though, isn't it? I don't want to eat that. Now I've got my skin on a tray. Now I'm going to salt and pepper it, and then stick on a bit of more greaseproof paper on top. Another tray on top of that to keep it flat in the oven, and into the oven at 180 for about 45 minutes. But keep checking on and see how it's getting on. Oh, oh my goodness. You're so proud of yourself, aren't you? I dare to hide something in Jamie's chicken. Put an egg on it. Have you got an egg? Where's the chicken? And now to bay all of the rest of the salt over my chicken. And seal it in. Are you, are you poaching your chicken in butter? Yeah, mate. Guess what I'm doing? Poaching your chicken in butter. You got it. Well, I did it first. Oh, that just flew out of my hand. <laughs> it's all right, it's fine. The pressure's really getting to Barry, Jay. I'm worried about him. What, what the hell are you doing now? What? What is, you just, why are you making a snow chicken? <laughs> right, all the butter and then all the salt on all the chicken, job done. Sorry, is this a recipe? He's run this recipe by James as well, do you know that? Real chefs. I, I bet when he says he's run it by, he said, I'm going to use butter and salt. <laughs> <laughs> 
So next up, very much like Mike, I'm poaching my chicken. I've got some butter melting down there. I've got some fresh herbs that are gonna go into that and a clove of garlic. And in with my, in my legs and let that poach for about 40 minutes. Yeah, chicken igloo. It gets more mental every time I turn around. <laughs> Once your igloo is built, put it into an oven for an hour and then let it rest for 30 minutes. Jay, Yo. after a week, week's worth of um, chicken week, yeah. Did you ever find out what came first? Yes. Did you? What was it? It was the chicken. The chicken came first? Chicken came first. Chicken, chicken, then the chicken grows the egg inside the chicken. Yep. And then you put it in the oven, covered in salt, and yep. you bake it. Exactly. Yeah. I'm making what? <laughs> yeah. Ch ch there was an egg lying around, and so we put it back with its family. Did you put the egg back in the chicken? Yeah. When you, can you roast eggs? <laughs> Hot pan, butter, get it foaming, love it a little bit. Once it's all foamy, in with your mushrooms, then a splash of brandy. Watch out. Oh, my drum oh, house. Oh, oh. oh, hey, hey, it's salt bay and flom bay. Oh, there she went. Well, there you go. You missed well, my really, I did a funny joke then. You didn't listen to my joke. <laughs> I was concentrating the flat on yeah, the but it was, flames. Yeah, it was funnier than that. Right, you and Malik's. To go with my salt bay chicken, I'm gonna serve potato fondant and a watercress and goat's cheese salad. For my potatoes, I'm gonna peel them, cut them into discs, and then fry them off in some butter before adding some thyme and some chicken stock and then it all reduced down and all the juices get in and it's gonna be like this. Oh, nice. Gonna pull some chicken. Oh yeah. Now it's time to combine. This is my reduced down pork. This is my reduced down stock. I'm adding the pork a little bit at a time, having a taste until it tastes good. My poaching liquid that the chicken has been in is now being reduced back down. I'm gonna take all of the crap out and then I'm gonna put the chicken back in. Stir, 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 stir. Coat it, coat it, coat it. Oh yeah, mmm, yummy. I've rolled up my pastry nice and thin and I'm laying that into the tin, pushing it into all the corners then trimming off the top with a knife. Then I'm gonna dock it and I'm gonna line it with some blind baking beans then into a fridge for about 15 minutes before I give it a go at cooking it. What do you reckon? It looks, well, as I'd expect. Yeah. What do you do now? Well, I've got to plate up my uh, fondant potatoes. I'm going to make a quick watercress goat cheese salad. And then I'm going to get the chicken onto the plate as well. Maybe take some of the crust off. I don't know yet. Still there. Hey. It's shrunken back too much. Now I've got to brush it with egg, get it back in the oven for another five minutes. While the pastry bakes, I'm going to make a sauce around the mushrooms and chicken with flour, cream and stock. Next up, roll out my lid. And now, it's time for the star of the show. Here it is. I've done all I can. That's now going into an oven for 20 minutes and hopefully it's worked. This is it. I'm going to take the sandwich, I'm going to slowly dip it in the shoe, put the lid on, and then the steam is going to rise up inside the lid and the, the chicken sandwich is going to take on all that flavour. So you're going to have jus from the bottom and steamy jus from the sides and the top. I've never seen anything like this before in my life. I feel this is unnecessary. There you go. There you go. Perf perfectly cooked wow. egg. Let's see, let's see what's in that. Oh.
battle. Yeah. I'm intrigued by this. Can we go here first? Okay, so do you want to dust it off and we'll try some chicken? I think the thing with salt bake is it's never going to look the most appealing because it's always going to be anemic. However, the theatre of cracking into it, which we've already had, and the flavour should be spectacular. So we'll see. While you're doing that, I'm going to taste fondant potatoes because fondant potatoes are one of my faves. That oh my. is covered in so much butter. Mm -hmm. And it is so delicious. Mm -hmm. If we were doing a potato battle, you'd be winning right now. That looks like damn good chicken. Ah, he's damn good chicken. <laughs> oh, there it is. It's very good. Oh, holy crap. That is the best tasting chicken I've ever had in my life. R what? Hey, what? Hey, mate. But sorry, think just, about what you're saying. But just, but sorry, just plain, plain chicken. A slice of chicken. That is the plainest chicken I've ever had in my life. You're you right. Go. No, that's, that's actually delicious. As just, as like, there's, there's nothing else to that, just chicken. Yeah. That is delicious. What I love is poached chicken. I love the flavour of saffron. In fact, the last chicken battle, you won with a saffron mayonnaise and fried oh, chicken. Indeed. So you've gone very safe to go back to the same thing. Oh, That mm. is delicious. The sweetness of the tomato and the, the jouy portiness mm. is... Even though it's drenched, it feels light. Exceptional. Well, because, of the, because of the basil. Interestingly, chicken is only one part of that whole dish, but together it's an awesome chicken sandwich. Whereas that is like, we're judging chicken. Yeah. This is like we're judging a whole combination of amazing flavours that together balance to make an incredible chicken sandwich. That is one hell of a sandwich. Okay. You have shown a lot of skill, a lot of different technique. Things like the chicken skin, I don't even need to cut into it to know that is a clever, great idea. Oh, that's right. Look at that. Right. It's held together. The pastry is not cooked. I want to cry. <laughs> the face is not good. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. I was really rooting so for you on that one. I really wanted you to get this. So good. I'm so sorry. That chicken and mushroom filling is phenomenal. The chicken skin on top is genius. It could have just done with a few extra minute blind baking mm -hmm. and a few extra minutes or a slightly higher heat afterwards. Okay, that's annoying because I came to this table thinking I had a winner. And that surprised me. And the pastry wasn't quite there. That's, oh yeah, that's really And that's a soggy now. sandwich. However, all three taste incredible. J J Jamie can't win this. If Jamie wins this, he can't win it. Look at him. Brownie point has to go to Jamie for salt baked chicken. I would never, your idea from start to finish, I would never have thought of salt baking an entire chicken. That's magical. They're all great, but that's magical. That's only my decision though, that's only where one brownie point is going. You guys do get a say, we love to hear your opinion every single week. There is a poll on YouTube to go and vote for who you think would be your favourite. That tastes amazing. Ten more minutes of cooking and that would have won. That's a surprise, that came from nowhere. To be honest, I can't quite believe it's taking this long to do chicken week, but you will want to give all the recipes a go. We'll even adjust Barry's timings a little bit with pastry, because that is a winning pie. No, that is a delicious pie that everyone will want to create at home. Definitely, and why don't you suggest some themes of yourself? What's that? That's not a sentence. Do it anyway, comment down below, uh, let us know. And also, if you really like this series of videos this week in this theme, thumb them up by liking them, please. Yes, yeah, a subscribe helps too. We'll see you next week. See you later. Which is actually tomorrow. Click on the left if you missed our last video or click on the right video for one of our favourites.